big alligator could be somewhere in Kitty Hawk tonight. Authorities are warning people to keep an extra close eye on their kids and their pets. A nine foot gator was spotted swimming in a canal running through one of the neighborhoods this morning. Robert Boyd explains why the gator was caught and then let go. It was a big gator. It wasn't a baby. You know, I wouldn't want to go swimming with him. Kitty Hawk resident Alex Argaroff says the Outer Banks felt more like the Everglades Monday morning. Anything that's big enough to eat me gets my attention. A nine and a half foot alligator was spotted lurking in the canal right behind the Argaroff's home on Pineway Drive. I came out and the alligator was right over by the no wake sign over there. Um, you could just see his head and he was up quite a bit and then when down. Police immediately warned all the surrounding neighborhoods. I was at work and someone called me and said, get your cat and your little dog in. There's an alligator spotted on your street. It just so happens the two man coastal North Carolina alligator research team was a few miles away at Duck Donuts. They were on the scene pulling the gator to shore with a large fishing rod within minutes. They were saying it's the first record they have of an alligator over here on the island side of the Outer Banks. Witnesses say once on land, the reptile remained surprisingly calm while the experts measured and tagged him. Yeah, you rub his belly and he goes to sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> I seriously doubt whether he'll ever get handled like that again. <laughs> Neighbor Alan Chambers watched as the researchers taped down the animal's chompers, filled out paperwork, posed for pictures, then released him back into the canal. There he goes. Man, that sucker took off like a shot. And that was the last I saw of him. <laughs> By law, the research team is required to release the gator in the same area it was caught. 13 News Now messaged and called the researchers for comment, but they did not get back to us. Some residents say after this alligator encounter, they're going to be extra cautious when going into the canal this summer, whether it's swimming or even on a boat. I have kids that come home all the time. They swim in the canal a lot. So it is concerning, you know, that there was an alligator here because now nobody's going to swim in the canal. Residents are hoping this is an isolated incident, not a trend. It makes me want to look out in the water all the time to see if I see the boop, doop, doop. I hate to think I'm having uh, supper with an alligator tonight, but he might be on my dock when I get back home. <laughs> so who knows? In Kitty Hawk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now. All right, we learned the Coastal North Carolina Alligator Research Team is a two-man team. They travel around the region doing research about alligators. But once they document the animal and take their notes, they have to release them again. We're told Eastern Carolina is the northernmost breeding area of the American alligator and that gators grow much slower here than they do down south.